Hello my beautiful badgers, Messi Coda back again inside Unity playing about with the fantastic city generator from Master Pixel 3D. Regular price $300, currently on a sale at $150 because it's 50% off, that's half price. Half of $300 is $150, I can do that maths. I was lucky I got this gifted because I'm trying to get Master Pixel 3D to come on for a live stream. If you want Master Pixel to come on for a live dev interview, please put down in the comments. Come on Master Pixel 3D, come in for a live dev interview. Also in this pack, I'm going to be playing about with the Neo City free sample kit from Kitbash. I'm going to be playing about with that so that we can try to customize Fantastic City Generator for Master Pixel 3D. Because it's nice, you get a load of free buildings. But you know what? We want to mix it up a little bit and make it our very own. So sit back and join us. See you all in a second. And my beautiful Badger's Messy Coder inside Unity playing about with Master Pixel 3D's Fantastic City Generator. And it's on the Unity as it's still normally 300 bucks, but if you get it on a 50% sale, it's 150 bucks because that's half of 300. And the demo scene that you load up, you've got a wonderful suspension, but a nice bit of art. And this point of interest here, this lovely little, lovely little bit of nature. In the middle of a city and you've got a, a simple very basic traffic system that works well and you've got vehicles if you want to test them off and you've also got some buses and things and you, you see here oh hang on is he about to hit on they, they, the cars don't stop for anyone the cars do not stop for anyone and if you make if you make it across the road then you can see more of the traffic as so we're sitting there looking at like a uh, tourist oh, what wonderful sights we can see so we can make very quick very simple very easy easy uh, very quick very simple very easily very quick very simple cities very easily so that makes more sense doesn't it i'll show you what i mean if i zoom out um and we just click new new and then i'll go medium you'll see well actually you know what start small small you see this little circly bit here not really a circle is it but if i click small keep clicking it you'll see it randomizes click on medium and see the medium is made up of one two of those and if i click it boom you see they will randomize in, in the layout and likewise large it's made up of even more of those and they will randomize and then very large is made up of more of those now you can make this a custom shape as your choice it's got tutorials on how you can do that so you can play about with that later and you'll notice that there's no terrain it's actually putting these meshes down to create the borders now if I click generate buildings, it will randomly just generate these buildings in there. And if I put in traffic, you know what, let's go really small. Let's go small, generate buildings, intense traffic, add in the traffic. And you can combine the meshes, generate the UV. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to save this into, boom, into the scenes. Kablamo! And go over here and we're going to just generate our lighting. And then we're going to drop in our player and drop him in there where do you reckon there there i'll do and then click play oh we've got two cameras <gasps> naughty ah okay let's get rid of that let's get rid of the other camera and back in back oh click play back in Whee! Plop. okay so you see we've got a randomly generated city jobs are getting traffic in there and it's very small and we can have fun we can't go into any buildings because these prefabs don't have interiors but if you wanted them add your own buildings with interiors you could i've loaded in uh, as i said earlier the kit bash the cyberpunky looking kit bash and if we go to new boom, we can go in and create our own you've got to start by going into prefab buildings prefabs and you'll see all these letters thanks to barack dub or barack dub barack dub barack dub is a regular over on the channel and i still get his name I can't even say your name big shout out to barack dub oh he mentioned me he went over to the youtube of master pixel 3d and he commented what all of these letters are because i mean his videos but he didn't actually write them down in the description so bb suburban area buildings not in corner so if we open that, you can see, if we go here, boom, you can see what I mean. Let's make that big. So these are the suburban buildings that aren't in a corner of different sizes and shapes. 
and you've got the beast uh, um, let's go to eb eb next is the suburban buildings in a corner and as you can see there's a little corners cut out there there you go little corners cut out and then you've got br which is you know, the brs these are residential building apartment blocks in the suburban areas so these are the apartment blocks um there you go wonderful wonderful bc is the downtown high rise they're not in a corner there you go looking very pretty and then you've got ec which is the downtown high rise which are actually in a corner and you see again they've got little snippets taken out of them so you know they're in a corner Kidoke. and then you've got bk those are buildings that occupy an entire block bomb and you've got sb sb large buildings that occupy larger blocks and these are like shopping mall and, and, and shenanigans and then you go mb these are buildings that occupy both sides of a block but these aren't in a corner and then you've got dc uh ones either side of the block that are in a corner and again they've got a little little cut taken out of them because they're in a corner now i've, I've thrown in a couple already custom ones i've made but we'll do another one together so we can we can have fun together and you you choose your base what your base want to be um i'm going to do a bb we're going to do a bb a suburban area building that's not in a corner we've got lots of different sizes of these uh i'm going to throw in you know what we're going to go relatively small i'm going to put that down to uh zero 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 zero, zero. and we're going to go to our kit bash kit bash and if I go to our Neo Cities Kitbash, you'll see that we've got some stuff that's already made. Oh, that's nice. I didn't notice that one. You know what? How big is that? It's actually not that. That's not that big. So let's put that in there. That's, where's the front? So you would call that the front. You would call that the front, wouldn't you? So let's put that there. And then um should we put another one behind it should we put another one what about these oh that's that's rather dinky isn't it it's rather dinky put that there where's it got rotate it rotate you uh there you go that's better rotate you there and then we're gonna stick a tree. How's that? Stick a tree. Right, we're careful with the pivots on these things and uh, the positioning of them. So stick a tree. The tree's a bit big. 180. Whoop. There you go. This tree. That tree's boshing him. That tree. Oh my word! That tree's going to do some serious damage to that, that little badger, isn't he? Um, what about 90? Hmm. 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 You know what I'm gonna do? Let's put that back down to zero. Okay, we were better off with how it was originally, wasn't it? And give him a bit of shade. There we go. Yeah, I, I, I think that we're better off with that, weren't we? we can spend hours doing this. We can spend far too much time preoccupied doing this and then I'm gonna stick a, another building what about oh that one's too big that's too big a smaller one let's find a small one do we have a smaller one we don't is that as small as we get I think that might be as small as we get sometimes big isn't always best I have to say sometimes you just want a small one so I think that will fit I think that will fit that's not too shabby. Right, there you go. That's not too bad. And then we will stick in another tree here. We set that down. Let's make that tree a little bit smaller. Wiggle, wiggle. There you go. And throw that around here. And that that's more like it, isn't it? That's more like it. You know you don't want me to be a city planner. God, if I was a city planner, you'd be in so much trouble. Wouldn't you, ladies and gentlemen? 
But don't worry. Don't worry, I'm not. You're in safe hands. Okay. You know what? Let's make that touch smaller still. There you go. That's better. Happy little trees. Wonderful. And then if we pop back into this one. There he is. One of those. Chuck him there. And you know what? While we're at it, uh, one of those things. Where should we put that? There. And one of these can go right there. There he goes, populated. So now we grab all of our stuff and chuck it in to the to its mother. Hello, you can be my parent. I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna call it BB underscore uh, KB3D for the kit bash thing. And uh, small. Oh, um, what, what size was it? Was it was a. I don't know, I'm just going to call it Thingy. Thingy. We're going to drag it into the BB folder. Now the funny thing is, you don't have to prefix it with BB, you can call it anything you want. Uh, I'm going to call it gonna original prefab. And now we've got our prefab, BB Thingy. And here's the one I made earlier. Oh, a nice big one. Oh, that's not my one. That's the one I made earlier. Even better. Nice big one. Like, I don't remember making that one. I remember making that one. There we go. And I'll show you some of the other ones we've made. Where was it? Um, it was. Where were you? Where were you? So shiny. Where are you hiding? There it is. A DC. We made this one here, which literally was just dragging in the kit bash thing. Uh, which other ones did we make? We made a few. Just threw a couple together. Here we go. Uh, this big one. Let's look at. Look at the size of that. It's huge, isn't it? Massive. So big. Uh, do we make any? I don't think we made any BCs, but we've got two BBs in there, so we've got enough that it should make a good difference. So let's now go back to a new scene. Don't need that anymore because we know prefab out of it. And now we can go and make our media. You know what? Let's go very large. Very. Oh look, it's got a little area of interest that it's generated. That's nice. Generate the buildings, and if we look for KB3D. You can see that we've got quite a few of them that's turned up. Awesome. Quite a few of them has just turned up. And there's our new one. There's our new thingy. There's our thingy. Brilliant. So that actually works. Uh, we're going to add an intense traffic system. And then we're going to go and get our player. Here he is. Drag him in. Chop him down here. Right next to our thingy. Boom. And you know what? Let's add some lighting in there. Beep. Do you want to save it? Yeah, why not? And then we're going to click play and have some fun. So, jumping in. Where's our thingy? Where are you? Where's our thingy? Hello? Hello? Looking for my thingy. Where are you? I recognize, go to recognize, <gasps> I recognize that, I recognize you, are you my thingy? I, you are, because I, I can tell you're mine, because because you're floating in the air, we didn't do that, we didn't do a good job of setting this, <laughs> oh my word, it's, like, it's this one, this is your thingy here, hello Kid Bash, and then you can go down here, and you can, you can grab yourself some Chinese medicine, from this, there's a weird hologram going on here. Uh, is that big? That's a giant picture of a staple. So we've got our Chinese medicine in this kit bash, and then some more floating trees. Ah, ah. You always check, always check when you put in your stuff in and your prefabs that, uh, that you haven't just got a load of floating trees. Always possibly a good idea. So uh, if we go back into our prefab, because that's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Bit, just a just a touch embarrassing there if I go back into the prefabs into the BB open up our thingy there's our thingy I do apologize always 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 take the effort to actually look to see if you're if you're floating about in the air ladies and gentlemen possibly a good idea All right so there you go that's down uh, the building could possibly do with not floating that would be a good one as well 
So let's make our building not float. Ooh, there we go. And anything else was floating? You, how about you? Are you were you behaving? No, he was always behaving. He was fine. Uh, these trees were a bit of a float as well. And well, and there you go. And was that one floating? I think that one was fine. Were you fine, or were you being naughty? No, I was fine. So he was fine. Uh, and then we're gonna uh, also on auto save. Oh, he's being do what he on auto save. Me, um, get out of that prefab. And now if we go back to CT generator, we just generate them again. Boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. And find our kitbash KB thingy. And now we won't have any of that embarrassment. And I'm gonna just delete him rather than find him and stick him in again. And drag him in there. Now we can see just how bad my three second prefabbing skills are. So here is our basically quickly put together. There's a the front door. Hello. And we go down this little side bit here. There's some trees. Uh, there's a Kibash seems to have a collider on the tree. And here there's some rubbish that's blocking you from going down there. It's just doing its job, making the city feel bigger. It's exactly what I put it there for. And uh, we go around here. Where's the Chinese medicine? Down this little alleyway here. And there's the Chinese medicine. Brilliant. So that is how you can quickly throw in your own buildings into Master Pixel 3D's fantastic city generator and throw in. Now you've got some limitations. Obviously, the, the, the city is flat. Uh, we don't have a day and night on these buildings so that when it's night time, the lights turn on. Oh! <laughs> oh! Did you see that? I am Zod! Kneel before me! Bring me Kalel! Oh, now I can't move it anymore. Um, there we go. Ah! So, um, I was, I, was I, I really was just looking at the buildings and even noticed the bus was coming to smack me in the face. Um, you can just quickly just throw your stuff in and you can just make a script in there. Um, put it on the, maybe on the shader, on the, on the windows, so that when it's night time, your day night cycle to kick in the lights, to turn the lights on the buildings. Uh, it's very easy to throw in and what I like about this is that you can throw in your proper prefabs of buildings proper models don't have to be special custom made models to make it work just popping back into the demo scene uh, I'm gonna click play okay I'm gonna have a look at this we've got um, 150 100 200 300 FPS going up it goes down um, we have got up oh, 300 batches to, to 4,000 depending on what we're looking at we got these crazy buses going across the road quickly. So we're getting, we're getting all right numbers. You know, we've no optimization put on this traffic and the camera. To tell you the truth, I think the camera is far too 5,000. Far too silly. Let's put that down to 500. There we go. That's a little bit more healthy on there. So put your optimization uh, tips and tricks in there to, to get the best out of this. Um, I would suggest if you're going to go serious, put something like the simple traffic system on here. And if you're going to go uh, super crazy, then you might even need some dots magic. Uh, but I would maybe people are telling me wait a little bit before you start going down the dots path. But one, you know, dots is is screaming out to be used for something like a city, isn't it? So if you do like these videos, you want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below. Tell all of your friends, random people on the street that the messy coder is trying to avoid getting run over in traffic. And we're going to be making some really big cyberpunk cities with this fantastic city generator from Master Pixel 3D. So if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.